Hi, I'm Afremu from Team CLG, and this is my log class bot lane guide to Corky and Janna. In solo queue, Corky and Janna is probably one of the more easier lanes to be able to win as, just because you have a good poke from Corky, and then Janna can counter initiate the return damage that the enemy bot laners were, are going to do to you. So you should have a uh, pretty easy time if your enemy bot lane that you're playing against isn't, you know, coordinated. The synergy between Corky and Janna is very volatile, and this lane is very much a skill lane that you have to be coordinated with your AD carry. So when Corky goes to Phosphorus Bomb, you can walk up with him and shield and also be there to help him fight as well. If you're like miss a couple seconds on your shield or something like that, you're definitely going to get poked out of lane. But the only way you would be able to win this lane is if you do coordinate super well. Level 1 and 2 for Corky and Janna is pretty much... You pay attention to when you get level 2, because level 2 Janna gets her uh, tornado. And then after that point of level 1 being even with your counterparts at level 2, you do have an advantage if Quirky goes uh, Gatling Gun, and you Quirky Janna should be able to out-damage the opposing uh, enemy laners if they don't land CC on you. At level 3 and 4, it's just basically all poking. At that point, since you and Quirky just skilled up all three spells or just like one extra point in another spell, and then the opposing laners also have the same thing. So it's just based on trading properly besides, you know, like aggression at level one and two and stuff. At level five and six, this is when Janna's level six isn't, you know... Isn't that important for the lane, but Corky's level 6 is super important just because rockets do a butt ton of damage. And once once he's able to be level 6, you should be able to push uh, any opposing laners out of, out of lane just by being able to poke. For Corky Janna lane, a good strategy to do is just play off Janna's uh, shield cooldown. And every time, every time shield comes up, that's when you walk up to go poke. If it's not up, and you try and go poke, usually you'll just get run over by the enemy's enemy's damage. Since Janna, you know, if she doesn't have shield, all she can do is like auto and like not not that much. Throw a tornado, that's it. A favorite favorable matchup for Quirky and Janna is versus Thresh. And usually, you know, for me, it just depends on style. So I really like playing it into Nami, but normally most people would say that's a skill matchup, but versus Nami, Thresh, and sometimes Morgana, which is also a skill matchup, is uh, okay. You should be favorable if you play off your shield cooldown. An unfavorable matchup for Corky and Janna is also Nami, and then it's also Thresh as well. And this only is, you know, based on skill, pretty much. Skill matchups, they can go either way, which is why I said both. And, you know, if you get outskilled because, you know, you got hit by one CC. So if you, if you get hit by any CC, you're going to probably lose. But if you use your poke and poke them and then back up before they can, you know, react, then you'll be able to win that way. Thanks for watching this bot lane guide. You can follow me on Twitter at, at Aframu.